in. He's now sinking in because he lost faith. Jesus. Here it is. Jesus rebukes him. He says, oh, ye a fainted heart. Jesus. What got into you? Mm. Take 16 seconds and think about how many things you've allowed to contaminate your spirit to make you miss God. Mm. Mm. Jesus. How many conversations have you been having that were ungodly, were unbeneficial, uh -huh. were unfaith building, and they caused you to slip away from what God told you before? Uh -huh. wow. I, I had to look at it. I had to look at it, twin, because I, I, I started hanging with folk. Come on. That didn't have the same faith. Yeah, in me. yeah. So instead of me saying I'm gonna become, I started saying I wish I could be. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> my my conversation twisted because I wasn't around people who had the same spirit as yeah. me. Yeah. That's why you gotta be careful in the season in the house of God who you allow to connect with your spirit. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk come to on, me. Come on, come on. I don't need to hang with you. I don't need to talk to you. I don't need to go to IHOP. We ain't gotta go shopping. We ain't gotta get our nails and feet done. Because, baby, where I'm going, your faith ain't going in the same direction. Come on, come on. Say that. Say that. Yes, sir. All of the disciples on the boat. But none of them said, let's get out there with Peter. Come on. None of them. None of them said, man, that's Jesus. That ain't no ghost. Just go to him. Yeah. But what they did was what most church will do. They stayed in the place of safety in case Peter failed. Come on. They can stay where God can Come save them. Right. But let me prophesy to you, in this season, you got to be bold enough to take some steps Come on. on the word of God. Yes, yes. Come on, sir. Jesus did not hesitate. He reached down and grabbed his hand. Then he said, Fed and heart, what got into you? Here is what got into Peter. He became so focused on his circumstances uh -huh. that he lost faith in the very thing that could save him. Yes. I came to prophesy to some of y'all today to let you know, just look up. Yes, yes. Sir. yes. If Peter was sinking in the water and was still looking down, all Peter had to do was look, look back up, up yeah. and he would have rose. That's right. That's right. The problem with some of us is that we refuse to look up because we think he ain't there no more. Right. Wow. <laughs> we, we think God has left us. God, I messed up. I fell. I, I slipped. I stumbled. And God, I know you ain't in the same place that you was when I left. And, and the Bible really will tell you, he's married to the backslide. He's going to be in the same place where right. you left him. That's right. That's right. Most of us are waiting on God to pull us up. And God is saying, I'm not pulling you up. I just need you to look up. Come on. Come on. Because every time God pulls you out of something, he saves you from it. That's right. But sometimes, ask Joe, God has to let you go through something yes. so you can learn from it. That's right. That's right. That's why I stop praying, God bring me up, God deliver me, God snatch me out of his. No, I don't pray no more. God teach me something while I'm in this. That's right. Show me what I need to learn so that when I go through this again, I ain't got to act like no punk Christian. Come on. Come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. We got too many folk in the church whining and complaining and they need God to bring them out. And God is saying, if you just look up to me, you'll be all right. That's yeah. Right. Stop running the social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Come on. Trying to get answers for your problem. Get on your knees yes, and say, God, show me me. Yeah. Yes, yes, Lord. Peter, I'm done. Peter, Peter jumping out of the boat, he gets, he begins to sing. Jesus reaches down, grabs him, and rebukes him. But here's my favorite part of the text. When the two of them climbed back into the boat, Come on. the wind died down. Mm -hmm. The waves ceased, and the disciples that were watching began to worship with them. Mm -hmm. Your greatest example of being in the will of God is when everybody who was watching you sing now has to worship you and what yeah. saved you. Oh. <laughs> That's my best point. You don't like I'm going home. Oh. The best part of being in the will of God is that when people that were watching you sing are the same ones that's got to raise you, watch you raise back up and say, wait a minute, they will be God the whole time? Surely God is real. Come on, come on, say that. The most of us don't even understand how much potential and anointing that we have. That's right. It's because we've been so contaminated with doubt. That we miss the moments that God is trying to elevate us yeah. in front of our enemies. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's you want to know why all your enemies are succeeding? It's because you refuse to look up. My God. I was 
wondering, Lord, I'm gifted, I'm anointed, I'm talented, I can preach, I can sing, I can play, I look halfway decent, I got a pretty wife, I know how to raise money, I, you know, I, I do, I, I can do this. And the Lord said to me, you keep looking down at people that don't live as well as you do. Come on. Lord, why are these people preaching so much? Why are these people on the circuit? Why are these people got churches and I'm sitting here stuck behind the people? And the Lord says, it's because you keep looking down. Wow. You won't look at me. So I was comparing myself to everything around me, right. not comparing myself to the will of God for my life. Yeah. Right. 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 So I was missing out on who God wanted me to be because right. I was comparing myself to people right. who didn't equate to my life. Wow. But when I started wow. looking up, when I started looking at God saying, God, what you want me to do? Yeah. Where you want me to go this Sunday? Because I, I, I'm at the point now where if God wakes me up on Sunday morning and says, Go to this church. I got to work for them. Uh -huh. Hey, truly, I love y'all, but the Lord's sitting me over here. Yeah. Because right. at the end of the day, I'm not here to please man. I'm here to please, please God. God. Y'all right. listen what I'm saying. Come on, come on. I'm not talking now. Don't talk get no idea to say God called you to be a prophet and come go on. stop no church. Come That's on. not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I've been ordained to go evangelize, and if the Lord gives me a word, I'm going to obey God within my ordination. Yeah. And I see some of y'all face, boy, I ain't coming to church. I got a word. Oh, the devil is a lie. You better submit to your pastor. Yeah, yeah. But when I started asking God, God, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? Where do you want me to go? Who, who do you want me to minister to? I'd be on Facebook and just send them my desk sometimes. It's supposed to be working. Yeah, I said it's supposed to be working. I'd be on Facebook and the Lord says, minister to so-and-so and so-and-so -so today. And I reach in the inbox and Start ministering to them and just praying for them. Tell them I'm there for them. And people, people respond, man, you have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. I was so down today. I was ready to give up. But your word encouraged me. Mm -hmm. And if, I realized that my assignment was not just behind a pulpit. That's come on, right. come on, That's come right. on. <laughs> my faith was not sold on how many people said amen. Yeah. My faith was built because I obeyed God and I yeah. saw the results. That's yeah. Right. Of what I was supposed to do. That's right. But when I stopped looking down and looked up, I started getting more satisfied in myself. Come on. Right. See, most of us ain't satisfied with ourselves because we're living beneath That's our right. potential. Y'all ain't talking to me. Come on. We live beneath what God wants us to live. Right. And He's saying, if you just have faith and look at me, right. you'll have what you desire. That's yeah. Right. That's all God. I came to tell you today. I ain't came to move and shout you, but I came to tell you to look up. What's up? Because here's the problem. If you never look up, you're going to walk into so much stuff. That's right. That's right. Because you can't see. Come <laughs> on. I was so busy leaving the church that they trying to get here. I said, Cook, Pastor Cook, you know, they're going to kill me. I'm running late. And when I came around the curve, I was so busy trying to text Tasha and them that my back tie slid into a curve. And when I looked up in the mirror, I saw the dust from the hole I had went in. Uh-huh. I realized that if I hadn't been paying attention, I would have never hit that hole. Yeah. Right. But here's the goodness of God. The hole was deeper than my tire. Yes, yeah. But the only thing I saw was the dust yeah. that was left over from what could have been a tragedy. Yeah. Right. When you look up, you never see tragedy, you just see what could have been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm done. Stand to your feet. I'm done. Yes, I'm done. Sir. Peter, Peter was on a ship. With disciples, his friends, his co laborers, his brothers in the gospel. But Peter was the only one that had enough guts to step out. Right. Peter was wrong because he did not acknowledge who Christ was. Mm -hmm. But Peter got it right by asking God, just give me a word. Give me a word and I'll do what you say. Bid me to come and I'll come. Don't become like the disciples who hear the word but never respond. Because mm. wow. Peter didn't say, Lord, if it's you, tell me only to come. Yeah. He says, Lord, if it's you, just give me a word. Bid right. me to come. Yeah. If I was one of those disciples and I heard the Lord say, come, guess what I'm doing? I'm coming to come. Watch out, Peter, I'm going first. Mm -hmm. Because I'm so desperate for God. Yes, sir. Whatever word that's in the atmosphere, I'm taking it for myself. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's why I get so concerned about people coming to church and hear the word. And just because one person get blessed, you don't think you qualify for the same blessing 